Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. And today we are finally doing our pool reveal. Our pool building process started in September of 2020 after we moved to our new house in August. We went ahead and contracted with a pool company. We got the drawings for the pool and picked out all the selections. Kind of marked off the pool today. So this is decking as you come down the stairs. And then this is decking out this way. This tree will come down. And then the center part is the pool from here over to beyond that pine tree is the pool. And then these four pine trees have to come out. In early November, the landscape group arranged for the trees to come down, but then we had to wait until after Christmas for anything else to happen. After Christmas, things started moving very quickly. The first week of January, they started excavation on the pool. After the excavation was completed, they added the rebar so they could begin pouring concrete. By the third week of January, the plumbing and the concrete was done and they had moved on to the tile. The third week of January was actually when they were supposed to start excavation, so we were several weeks ahead at this point. Okay, the tile looks like it's about done now. They just left for today. Here's what it looks like from inside the pool. Hey, Sophie, we're the first ones in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the side of our house. This is where all the plumbing from back behind the pool is gonna run to. They'll have a little service yard. So they'll enclose the pool equipment over here on this side of the house in like an eight by 10 service yard, like our pool pump, the pool heater, and everything will be all plumbed to right there. And that's what they've been working on. So they finished the coping on the pool and they've also backfilled all the dirt all the way till you get to pool equipment here and even right up under the steps. So it looks like they're getting ready for the pavers to come in. From this point, we had about a month delay where nothing happened because of a combination of two things. One, very heavy rain and unending rain. And then also our pavers were on back order and that was the next step in the process they needed to do before they could move on with the pool. Finally, in mid-March, the rain stopped and we were able to change pavers so that we could get some that were in Savannah um, because at that point it was just unknown when the regular pavers that we had ordered would ever be in. So they went ahead and installed the pavers at about mid-March and we were able to keep moving from there.
Once the papers were complete, things started moving very quickly. They spent two days cleaning out the debris and the water in the bottom of the pool so that the um, Pebble Tech coating could go in. That's the plaster coating that is the very last step in the actual pool construction. On the same two days, they also did most of the landscaping. Friends, we'd love to pray for you. If we can pray for you, let us know in the comments below. This was the last major step for the pool. Right now, what you're seeing is they are putting the plaster coating on and then that will be covered with Pebble Tech. So I'm going to start on our screen porch. We added these sheer curtains to give a little bit of privacy on the right side as well as to block some of the sun in the late afternoon. We already had the lights and pretty much everything else out here. I did paint these um, plant stands that were left from the previous owner white. Um, they're sort of just like a rusty color before that. And then everything else is pretty much already here, except we recently added this rug. Now I'm gonna take you out on the deck. All right, this, this is right beside our living room. We added this sign that says, you're now entering the flip-flop zone. And then I got these pails on Amazon and just hung them here to put flip-flops in. This is the um, pool light that uh, you can turn on at night. And we added this native palm here in this planter and then our grill was already here but this is the furniture that we added we added a table an umbrella it just has bench seating and then we added a cantilever umbrella over this kind of like conversation set over here and we already had this fire pit that we got quite a while back So all of this wood furniture, um, this all came from Amazon. I'll put links in the description box if you're interested in any of that. All right, and I'll take you down here to the pool deck. So these um, pool chairs also came from Amazon. And we just put little um, faux wood tables, the white tables um, there as like little end tables. And then we added some umbrellas and, uh, to pull over. And then this is a paver deck. The pool is gunite and um, it has a Pebble Tech coating. The coating is uh, color is called Caribbean Blue. Then we have three deck jets on the back here that can be turned off or on and they can make, be made bigger or smaller. Then on the other side, we also have two additional chairs and another umbrella. Okay, so you might remember seeing the service yard. It has all the pool equipment. They did some landscaping around that um, and around the house here. And then all of these bushes were added here and back along the property line with a few crepe myrtles at the back. They built those up on a berm to add a little bit of privacy. 
and then they added in some grass around the pool. They just finished this today. Here's a view from this side of the yard. We're super excited about the pool. The heater is um, installed, but the electricity will not be hooked up until tomorrow. So right now the pool is like 67 degrees. We haven't been in it because it's too cold. So the pool light can be set to change colors like you're seeing here. This is um, sped up footage, but you also could set it to any of these colors if you want to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye!